You know what I love? The color pink. No really, look at my channel. If I show you my thumbnails and blur the image, you'll mostly see pink. Or I guess some folks would call it purple, but purple is a close relative to pink, so it counts. My controller is pink, my room is pink, my background is pink, even I'm pink. Naturally, this means that whenever I play Smash, I almost always pick the pink alt when I'm playing as any character. Pink Donkey Kong, pink Rosalina, pink Sne... pink Snake? Where's his pink costume? Well, I guess in that case, I'll just play Mega Man. What? He doesn't have a pink alt either? There are characters without pink alts? Well, as it turns out, yes. There are sadly some characters without a pink costume available. Quite a few, actually. Sometimes they have a purple alt available, which I'm usually cool with, because, you know, pink, purple, same color. In any case, I felt like I had to take it upon myself to give all these characters a pink alt, with the power of Photoshop. We just grab a character's artwork, let Photoshop do its work, and bam. Beautiful pink alt. Wait, she kind of blends in with my pink background, doesn't she? Oh, this could be a problem for this video. Uh, oh, I have an idea. There we go. Cyan background. Compliments to pink nicely. Anyways, when I say let Photoshop do its work, I really mean let me do the work by manually selecting part of a character's artwork and then recoloring that part. Some of these were a pain to make, like Krom. I hate you, Krom. Regardless, everyone loves a good pink alt. Some are pink by default, some have really great looking purple alts, some have two pink alts. Yeah, these are two separate alts for some reason. And Jigglypuff gets eight pink alts. She's just that great. Well, time to make everyone who doesn't fit in here, fit in. In no particular order, here's every character I made a snazzy pink alt for. Most of these are based on nothing because I didn't want to limit myself when making them. Like this one. I kind of made it a bit darker than regular pink because I think it fits the character better. Also, if we enhance the image, you can see that I left some blue in her earrings. I did this on purpose because it reminds me of old stained glass, which I've always been a sucker for. Speaking of me being a sucker for something, pink and black. This is like the greatest combination of colors ever, which is why my normal background has this black left and bottom border. And this is also why I made Incineroar look like this. Definitely the character that looks the most unchanged, but I have my reasons for that. You see, when I started working on him, I zoomed in on him, saw all those hairs and thought, yeah, this is gonna be a pain to select. Then, just to see how it would look, I auto-selected the color red, added some magenta, and it came out like this. And it looks hot. So I kept it. I guess I should also mention that, yeah, he has a purple all in the game, but for some characters with a purple alt, I still made pink alts because I just don't really like those purple alts. Another case of this is Ken. Though with him it's more the fact that he doesn't have an alt based on Don Hibiki, the joke character from the Street Fighter series. Like come on, that would have been a perfect opportunity to throw in some love for Street Fighter. Same thing with Ryu, who also doesn't have a Dan inspired alt. Speaking of Ryu however, I gave him a pink alt too, of course. Not inspired by Dan, but instead inspired by Yuri Han, their Yuri's design from Street Fighter V, not 4, because that one's more pink. Alright, here's one I spent no time at all on. Bam, Mr. Game Watch. I'm pretty sure you can imagine how long it took to make this one. Fun little fact, this color is actually the hex code DD7CB1, which is the color I use all over my channel. Imagine if I could get this color officially renamed to P Jiggles Pink, that'd be sick. Uh, moving on, here's Pinkther, uh, Richter. No real inspiration here, just more pink and black. Beautiful. And in Simon's case, he has this old man alt with a little bit of purple on it, and I just made some parts of this alt a bit more pink. Namely, some leather and cloth on his hip and boots, and I made his head crystal thingy purple. And for the last Konami boy, Snake. I was originally going to base his pink alt off of his flower camouflage from Metal Gear Solid 3, but I didn't really want to mess with giving him a new pattern, so I just made this one instead. I always think pink looks naturally good on strong men. I don't know why. Another case of this would be Ganondorf. He already has this alt with some purple on it, so I just took that one and made the skin tight portions and his belt pink. You know, considering Ganondorf is the only male in his entire species, he probably cares a lot about Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is partially the reason why I'm making this video. Good on you, King of Evil. 
Next up is Mega Man, who I directly based off of Mega Man's appearance when he uses Strike Man's ability from Mega Man 10. Say that 10 times fast. Anyways, there's absolutely no pink or purple on Strike Man, so why Mega Man looks like this when he uses his ability is beyond me. Oh well, it makes for a dope alt at least. You ready for some 80s aesthetics? For this next one, I'm gonna have to change the background color to green real quick, because I don't want it to blend with Oliwar's light blue gloves. Look at him. He looks like he's plucked straight out of the 80s. Technically, Olimar does have a pink alt, because Alf has this alt based off of Britney from Pikmin 3. Alright, let's do a few multi-rounds, because we still got quite a few characters to go through. First is Mario and Wario. They both have this nearly identical alternate color available, which has some pink in it, but it's mostly light blue. For Mario, I made him a simple pink and purple color scheme. Nothing too fancy, Mario looks good in basically anything really. And for Wario, I took this biker alt and simply made his shirt a bit more purple. His gloves, hat, shoes and belt are already pink, so I think this little change just adds to it being more pink alt rather than a greenish alt because of the jacket. For Wii Fit Trainer, I made one for both the male and female versions. All their costumes are just the regular one with the blue changed to a different color, so I'm doing the same thing here with pink. Next, we're gonna crush two birds with one stone. Or rather, two rats with one brush. Across all of Pichu's alts, he never changes skin color, and Pikachu only changes to very slightly different shades of yellow. So I was kind of stumped on what to do with them, because I didn't just want to make their skin pink. So for them, I also just changed one of their already existing alts. For Pikachu, I took his Pikachu Libre alt, in which he is a girl, and made it pink. And I based the Pokeball on her shirt off of the heel ball. I think it looks very nice. And for Pichu, I simply took this red ribbon alt and made it pink. Which, you know, is typically the symbol for Breast Cancer Awareness Month. Alright, now, Bowser Jr. has Wendy as an alt. And as we all know, Wendy is just the greatest Koopaling, right? Yeah. Well, since all seven of his alts are the other Koopalings, he's the only character in the game that doesn't have an alt that is simply a recolor. This is absolutely not a bad thing, by the way. But because of this, Bowser Jr. just always looks bad with a different color. To me, at least. Ah, screw it. Roy is now officially Bowser Jr.'s pink alt. Yeah, he's the man. Well, at least his dad has alternate colors, so we can give him a pink alt just fine. I based this one off of Midbus from Mario & Luigi Bowser's Inside Story, whom is kind of Bowser's rifle in that game. I mean, it only makes sense. <sighs> Rest in peace, Alpha Dream. I will forever love you. Alright, next up is... Krom. Oh Krom, why must you be so ridiculously detailed? It took forever to select all the blue and yellow and select all around the silver armor and stuff and ugh. After spending hours zoomed in on his finer details, I came up with this. It might be a little too pink for some of y'all, but to me, the extreme color represents the extreme pain I felt when making this alt. I made the weird leg things a bit more blue-purple-ish to reflect his hair color. Okay, seriously, Krom, what is with your getup? That weird knee belt thing, which on one leg is way longer. What the hell are your shoes, your weird no-sleeved shirt, and your gross torn-up cape? Ugh. Alright, let's just move on to a sword boy who I did have a lot of fun with, Link. Man, I love this pink champion's tunic. It's so snazzy, such a shame you can't recolor it in Breath of the Wild. I also made his pants and leather boots and gloves a tiny bit more red. And as a finishing touch, I made his Hylian shield look like the goddess's shield from The Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. Speaking of finishing touch, Cloud. <laughs> See what I did there? <coughs> Anyways, I think everyone agrees that Cloud's alts are not good. He has two costumes, his soldier first class uniform and his appearance from Final Fantasy Advent Children. And the other six available alts are recolors of those and they all share the same theme, dark. This one stands out the most, but seriously, these four are separate alts. So when I made a pink cloud alt, I wanted him to stand apart from the other ones, so I made him look very different from his normal alt. You can even see the difference from a distance, which you can't say for the other alts. Well, we've done three sword boys in a row now, 
So let's just quickly do the last three sword boys, because for all of them, I just altered an already existing alt. First is Marth. He has this somewhat purple alt with a blue shirt, so I just took his shirt and made it a little more purple. The color purple is often associated with royalty in the medieval times, so I think this fits him perfectly. For Meta Knight, I took this alt where his body and shoulder pads are already pink, and I made his cape pink too. He already has this alt based on Galactonite with a gorgeous pink sword, but this one very closely resembles an actual character, so I didn't really want to change it. And the last sorty is Shulk. Yeah, he already has a pink alt, but I really don't like this one, I'm sorry. It's based off of Melia Antiqua, which is a great character, but this color scheme just doesn't fit Shulk. I think it's the gray hair more than anything. It looked okay back in Smash 4 when his hair color didn't change, but here it's just... Eh. Well, I didn't want to have another Krom situation and spend a few hours selecting everything to make him pink, so instead I made this. It's not based on anything in particular, just some good old barely naked Shulk. Can't wait to see this in HD. Well, that's how the sword character's done. Let's move on to Mewtwo. I based this one off of Mew 1. I actually made this one before Smash Ultimate came out, along with these ones. Nice of past me to look out for future me like that, huh? Speaking of Pokemon, Squirtle, Ivysaur, and Charizard all have a gorgeous pink alt. But Pokemon Trainer doesn't. These three alts all belong to the same Pokemon Trainer, which is a female Pokemon Trainer. So because of that, I decided to give female Pokemon Trainer a pink alt instead. Look at that. They're almost like a family. The last Pokemon I want to talk about is Duck Hunt. Most Duck Hunt alts have the dog and duck based off of a breed from a dog and bird in real life. This one is based off of a Dalmatian and a Rudy Shell Duck. This one off of a Border Collie and an American Black Duck. And this one off of Banjo and Kazooie, of course. There is, however, no dog breed that's pink by nature. But there is a bird that's pink by nature, and that's of course the Flamingo. Which is what I based the duck off in this alternate color. And I just made the dog a slightly more magenta tint. And I think it looks fine. For Ness and Lucas, I made their pink alts kind of resemble their female party members. For Ness, I based it off of Paula, with the white lines, slightly redder hat to resemble her bow tie, and a browner backpack. And for Lucas, I slightly based it off of Kumatora. I realized while making it that if I truly wanted to base it off of Kumatora, I'd have to make the shirt blue, which I didn't want to do since that'd make it more of a blue alt rather than a pink alt. So I instead opted to make his pants slightly more blue. This next one is one that I shouldn't have even made. It's for Ridley. I made his entire skin pink, while making all the claws and teeth silver, and the barb on his tail more purple. Now the reason I shouldn't have even made this one is because he already has this purple alt, and I love this alt. I simply forgot he had this one when making this pink alt, and I only remembered it after I made it. Whoops. Well, let's just end this pink alt showcase with probably my favorite one, Joker. Joker already has this purple alt based off of the thematic color from Revelations Persona, which is the running theme in his alts actually. But he doesn't have a pink alt for his Shujin Academy uniform costume. So I made this one based off of Joker's uniform when working part-time in the convenience store 777 in Shibuya. I made the buttons white to represent the dots, the pockets a lot darker than the shirt to represent the red pockets on the uniform, and the undershirt green to represent the green lines. I also made the pants completely black and white to match the completely black pants, though I left the shoes untouched since we never get to see his shoes in this uniform, so I have no idea what they look like. And that's it. That's all the pink alts I made. Now every character has a beautiful pink alt. Oh wait, no they don't. These are all just PNGs that I made. They aren't actually in the game. <sighs> well, it's still nice to see them, right? Who knows, maybe Nintendo will hire me in the future for DLC costumes, right? Yeah, even though I have no character modeling skills at all. As a little bonus for you for watching this video all the way to the end, here's a pink Terry. This artwork isn't released in high quality yet, so enjoy this hair. I really hope he gets a pink alt, it looks good on him. And if you didn't watch the whole video and just skip to the end, you will get this. Pink Steve. To be fair, it looks pretty alright. If he gets in Smash, just base one of its alts off of P. 
pink dye or something. Thanks for watching. Like I said, I made this video in part because of Breast Cancer Awareness Month, which is usually associated with the color pink. I also made this video partly because I just really, really love the color pink. And pink alts. And since we're at the end now anyways, here's my own really quick opinion on every pink alt currently in the game. Or purple alt if I'm okay with them. Great, amazing, good but I prefer this one. Great, good, eh, meh, legendary, you already know. Here's a tier list. I don't like Peach. My favorite alt in the game. Seriously. Eh, love it, love it, love it, really good. Eh, incredible, amazing, love the sword but not much else. Amazing, really good. It's good, but I wish the Smash 4 Ike had the pink all instead. I love them all. Eh, it's okay. Really, really good. Not a fan of Elf, but this alt is good. This is his only good alt in my opinion. Not a fan, love this one. This one radiates an extremely homosexual energy and I love it. I highly dislike this one. Great. It's alright. A bit extreme, but I like it. Could have used more pink. Bad. Not a fan of female Robin, so I don't like this alt. Really, really, really ugly. Too much Wendy. I don't like Korra and I don't like this alt. I love this alt. Great, love it. I love them both, but I don't have a preference since they're basically the exact same alt. Great, pretty good, love it. Kinda extreme, but it's alright. And that's it. Let me know what you think of pink alts and which one I made in this video is your favorite. This video is now way too long for what it is, so I'm just gonna shut up. Thanks for watching and have a great day.